So peeps, I'm going to do a little quick video on this, make it simple. A lot of people might know this, and to some it might be really confusing if you're just starting out. But we're going to do PNP and MPN. Now the easiest way to remember this is your PNP is switching your positive and your NPN is switching your zero volts, your negative. So PNP, switching your switches, your plus volts. So if you had a simple diagram, so that PMP is switching before you load, and this is called sourcing. Because you're sourcing your switch, and then your NPN. This is really basic switches. minus volts so this would be after you load and this is sinking because you're sinking the ground with the zero volts so how it works in sensors is, is it doesn't matter what type of sensor it is you'll have a thing called a transistor that's taking a signal from the voltage of the sensor. So how that works, you just got to think of a transistor as a PCB relay, where we're taking a small voltage and we're controlling the switch voltage. So your PMP is going to be switching before the load. So your sensor will see the object, it will send out a small voltage down to this transistor which is holding back the switch voltage and then once that's made that will allow it to flow through and then your PMP will look like this on your schematic so what it's doing is you've got your load up here this is going to make a small voltage here making this transistor down here and that's allowing the path down to ground or zero volts where up here you're making this transistor and it's allowing the voltage to come through and switch your load or your coil so what that's going to look like on a schematic is you're going to have your plus and your minus voltage and PMP the way you'd wire that up is if you've got your coil here from whatever you're switching So you've got your sensor up here, that's going to have your cable, your three cables coming out. So you've got your plus, your switch, and your zero volts. So you, this will be coming up to your plus 24, or whatever your switch voltage is. This will be coming down to your minus, your A1, your A2 will be going down to your common 12, zero volts, and then your switch coming down to your A1, because that's, you've got your 24 coming down your plus, through your sensor, switching on the transistor, or through your sensor, coming out, then coming down your switch voltage, and it's powering your coil. We're on your NPN. You've got your plus, your zero volts. You've got your coil down here. A1, A2, your sensor up here. Three cables still coming out. Plus, switch, it's zero. So you're still going to have your common 24 going to your sensor. Now we've got a common 24 going down to your coil on your A1. Your zeros going down to your common zero. But this time around, your switch is going to be going down to your A2. So what this is now doing is you've got a common 24 on the coil, but you've not got a path down to zero because until this then switches the transistor and then it makes you two zero volts. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a uh, contact to and some sensors and show you how to do it. So, as you can see, this sensor switches both PMP and NPN. Now, you can't confuse NPN and PMP with normally open, normally closed, because they both can have normally open, normally closed. So what we've got here is we've got a plus voltage going out, we've got a zero volts coming back, and this is our switch voltage. And with this using both PMP and MPN, I can show you. 
out of wire upon some contact with us. So, so we're going to start off by wiring it in PMP. So we've got a common 24 and a common 0 for both our power supply. So with the PMP, what we want to do is we want to do is we want to put our signal voltage to the A1 of our contactor. And our A2 is going to be going to our common zero. And as you can see, if I set this sensor now, because that voltage is coming down positive it's coming through the sensor and switched inside the sensor coming to our A1 then through to the zero and then the NPM is going to be the opposite and then with your NPM it's the complete opposite so what we've got is we've still got a common 24 common zero but now what we're wiring in is we've got a permanent 24 down to our coil of no contact and then we're now switching on the neutral on the zero volts so as you can see now that's working is you got your 24 coming don't you coil on your contact and then we're switching to zero volts because until that's made you've got no path down to zero Now if you made it this far, you're definitely legit approved.